You don't have the guts to be what you want. I don't even know what that nigga's cool, man. That nigga's not crazy, nigga. Bring it on that, nigga. We need a picture. Shit, bigger than everybody, nigga. Shit, bigger than that shit you got going on. Shit, bigger than no niggas got going on. Shit. That nigga's cool, man. Shit, bigger than that nigga. 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 Shit, bigger in that kitchen, ain't no water with them baby bitchin' Donald, I got locked, bitch went missing, guess another nigga on the job Never ran in front of a nigga, I'm that nigga who they call, yeah Bitch, I been a boss, I was before I got involved My little brother set the face, so I ain't no more collecting calls This week is on three glass, I know he can't back them all No drive by, as I'ma walk him, my friend that shit'll be Paul Heard your boyfriend is stalked, I can't take him to the mall Niggas can't come to the mall What it do, family? It's doing underground ballin' Back at y'all with another episode of Leather and Wood. On Leather and Wood, we shine light on all aspects of hooping. Through coaches, trainers, current players, former players, anyone or anything that's related to the game. Now my next guest is just an all-around brilliant young man. After spending a significant amount of time with him this past year, he earned my respect. When the odds were stacked up against him, he ain't cry. He ain't fold, he just stayed ready. You know what I'm saying? But we'll clarify all that a little bit later. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I'd like to introduce Kendra Jones, AKA KD. What's up, player? Welcome to the platform, my brother. Appreciate that. Alright, alright. What you been up to, family? Nothing in the lab, man. In the lab? Yeah. That's what's up, man. Got a 1020 boy up in this thing, man. You know what I'm saying? I already know what the business is. Yeah. Alright, man. You ready to get to it? Yes, sir. Alright, let's tip it off. Alright, first of all, man, let the people know where you from, man. Chattanooga, Tennessee, man. What's up, man? 423 all day, man. Coming hard all the time. Y'all already know. Yeah. What side of town you grew up on? East Lake. Okay. What's up, I was man? one of those, man. Walk outside barefoot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was up, man. That was up. But uh, what age was you introduced to the game? Uh, I said about five years old. Okay. All right. How that happen, though? Like, just a hoop on the rim or on the door or? Well, I really kind of got, like, inspired. So it's like my cousin, Mike Bradley. Mm-hmm. Got from Tyler. Uh, okay. Went to UConn and okay. stuff. Yeah. He really inspired me. All right, bet. That's the reason why I really wanted to play basketball. Okay, okay. That's what's up, that's what's up. Who was your favorite player growing up? Really him. Oh, okay. You know, okay. okay. I used to be all the college kids. That's what's up. Yeah, you, like you said, he went to UConn, right? Did, mm-hmm. they, did they get close to winning the national championship or something? Yeah. Or did they win it? I don't know. I can't remember, man. I knew they was in a mix or something, or they wanted or something. I can't remember though. Yeah, he had some kids on his team too. Man. He had uh, to beat. Did they have to beat him? I can't remember. Man. Kevin Walker. Oh yeah, he played with Kevin Walker. Yeah. Oh, that was up, man. That was up, man. All right, bitch. So, uh, so, all right, he was your favorite player, but he was a big though. But did yeah, you, uh, yeah. did you pan your game out the end of the Did you pan your game out the end of the No, not at that age. I'm but, talking about what about now? Oh, not yet. Colin six. Okay, well, you're a college system type of guy. Yeah, I love it. All right, that was awesome. love. Yeah, I can see the uh, similarities with the little attitude, the defense, the, all that talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can see that, man. Uh, what was the first team you ever played for? East Hill Bulls with Coach Sid. Oh, yeah. The Bulls, what, how old was it? What grade was that? I mean, what age was that? Uh, I'd say 9 to 10. Okay. Seven and eight. Seven eight. Yeah. All right. What y'all do? Y'all making noise out there? Oh yeah, this is the best team in the city. Oh yeah. Who's <laughs> nice? Who's some of the cats on your squad? I had uh, Ace Bailey. Okay. Uh, Dyer Higgins. CSA. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, can't remember my life, but uh-huh. we have some, yeah, some good ones. Oh, oh yeah, y'all doing y'all thing. Y'all want some championships and stuff? Yeah. Two one two. Oh, okay. What's up, man? That's what's up. Uh, so you played there at Sam 8 and 9 and 10? Mm-hmm. So that's it. So you want, y'all want it back to back? Yeah. Okay, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Alright, uh, what age did you start playing AU? Uh, I'd say uh, I started playing when I was in 6th grade. Okay, so. that's about uh, 11 years old. Yeah. Yeah, who was that team you played for? Team Check, Coach Sid. Team Check? Yeah. Okay, so names on the players that was on that team? Sayar Groom, uh, Ace Bailey, Bull Carter. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah. Ashley Wesson, okay. Jalen Taylor. Jalen Taylor. Yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. yeah, making noise around the country? Oh, yeah. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Uh, so you see an Ash, the Ace Bucock? Yeah, that's a nice little roster that's, right there, yeah. man. Yeah. Crazy. That's what's up. How long you played uh, on that squad? Uh, I'll do middle school? Uh -huh. Okay. Well, my my seventh eighth grade year, we had a change to we get breakfast. Okay, okay. We'll, 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 we'll get there. So uh sixth grade, what middle school you went to? I was going to Tyler. Mm -hmm. What okay, you played that year? Nah. Well, I played but I played the race and I was kinda of scared of middle school. Oh, for real? You were ready yet? No, I don't think I'm ready. Okay, shit man, that's smart, man. That's smart. So uh so you was at Tyler at the time? Yeah. Alright, so uh seventh grade, where you end up going? Uh, I was there tiny again. Okay. I didn't play. Why you ain't play? I don't know. I, I think I was really just scared. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Bet. So, okay, eighth grade, where you go? Deadwood. <laughs> okay, you switched on to Deadwood. You know I played. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Uh, so, uh, man, okay, tell me, tell me who's on that squad. Ace Baby, <laughs> Jalen Taylor, uh, Corey Jones, uh, oh, yeah. Chad. Run. Yeah, I remember that squad. Yeah, y'all see the big dogs. Y'all see big dogs in the city. All right, big. So middle school, seventh grade. Who you end up? With, who you playing with? Uh, AU. We be team chat. You still team chat? Yeah. All right, all right, big. How y'all do that, yo? We did good. Mm -hmm. Solid. We went to the uh, nationals. Oh, yeah. Y'all yeah. did good out there. Yeah. We lost in the championship. Yeah, well, I made to the championship on the national. Yeah. Yeah, that's big time, man. That's big time. What about eighth grade middle school? Uh, we did good. Uh, we was traveling, you know, everywhere. Played some good tournaments. Mm -hmm. Did get reps in. Played against good competition. Yeah. That's what's up, man. The eighth grade middle school. I mean, they were team though. Did y'all win the championship? Oh yeah, for sure. Had to. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. man. All right, man. Well, nobody in the city for that year. Okay. Uh, okay. All right, check this out. Uh, you in the eighth grade? You can ready to go to the ninth? Your first free agency. Uh, what school you decided to go to? I decided to go to Central. <clears throat> what factored into that decision? I don't know. Well, I really was trying to get away from everybody. Mm -hmm. So I could focus on, you know, my neighbor grade year, mm -hmm. do my work. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I had to play basketball there too. Mm -hmm. All right, speaking about uh, on, on the, off the court, what, what you was doing in the classroom since you, uh, since that factored into your decision? Oh, I had straight A's and B's. Oh, straight A's and B's? Yeah. Well, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. All right, on the court, how'd it go as a freshman? Uh, came with a tip on my shoulder. Mm-hmm. But hey, they gonna try to pick up because, you know, there's me. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the right time to try to pick up. <laughs> it'll count. But, uh, yeah. I really trying to, you know, yeah. see what I was doing for here. Okay, so, uh, what you made? <clears throat> freshman team, JV, Boston, or what I, I go? Oh. Uh, oh, you made all of them? Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, so I'm pretty sure if you was on all squads, ninth grade, you was starting pretty much, right? Yeah. All right, how'd they, how they go? Uh, it was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. We was uh, just getting pretty curious. Mm -hmm. What about the JV squad? It was tough. It was? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, all right, Boston, you just you just uh, pretty much on squad, or was you getting the flow in? I was I was getting PT. Okay. You know, when they called in, you know, I was ready. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's you, that's you. Uh, all right, that's all, man. Uh, AU, who you who you hoop with? Uh, what's that? Oh, WGB. And you still with your WGB at the time? Yeah. Yeah, y'all still pretty much had the same the squad. You mm -hmm. A's, all uh, y'all. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up, man. How y'all do that song? We did good. Okay. That's when, you know, everybody started getting recognized. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we played against four stars and five stars. Mm -hmm. and big big that's good, that's good. So you, how you say y'all all did that song? We did pretty well. Mm -hmm. We did well. Oh, that's good, man. All right, big. Sophomore season. Still at Central? No. Nah. Where you go? <laughs> Tested it. It's only boy. Oh, okay. Oh, you switched it over, huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. Turned it to a 10, 20 boy. No cap. All right. What factored into that decision? Uh-huh. Well, I really just talking to mom, like, I really want to go to break. Mm -hmm. Like, Coach Brown, mm -hmm. Coach Bill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's like, that's crazy right there. 
Okay. Mom, yeah. I want to go to Brandon. Mm -hmm. So, bam, y'all made that happen. Mm -hmm. All right, big. Uh, so, uh, how was it when you, you know what I'm saying, switched over, like, uh, off the court? Going from Central to Brandon, was, was it pretty much the same in the school, or was it a whole different culture going on? It was the same, but, you know, I was getting a little off task. But, you know, I, I still maintain my focus with A's and B's. Oh, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, you switched over to schools. You come from Central to uh, Brainerd. How was it like when the, came, when, when the basketball season rolled around? How was it like walk, approaching that season? Was you confident? Was you nervous? What? How was it? Uh, really, I was kind of nervous. Because mm -hmm. I'm, 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 I'm with a new team. Uh, you know, that's the year everybody really laughed at me. Mm -hmm. why, why they laugh at you? Because I was sitting on the bench number 42. Okay, okay. Well, you know, that's part of the game sometimes. Especially when you're going to a squad that's, that's been together for a long time, you got to just carve your way into that situation, man, because that squad had players who've been playing together for years. You know what I'm saying? And you just had to find your way or whatever. So, how would you say you did that year? Uh, I did all right. Uh, I really did all right, you know. When my name was called, I go up to him. You know, you drink, that's you. One thing I can say about you, y'all, you stay ready, man. Right? Stay ready. All right, that summer, who you who with? Uh, I was I was with AOT and Tally. Okay. I started off with Tally. Mm -hmm. And then I went to AOT, like, towards the end of the summer. For the people who don't know, man, where AOT at? That's in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Red really Palace, Queens, Georgia. Okay. Okay. How things go down up? Great. Great coach style. Everything. Great down there. Oh, what's up, man? We playing against some uh, top level competition? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all was squatted? Oh, yeah. Okay. How y'all do? We did good? Yeah. We was out there doing good. We was a good team. No, yeah. mm -hmm. it, was, it was still some good teams out there, though. I can't say that. Oh, yeah. It, it was some teams that were bringing some heat. <laughs> For real. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of little good little competition down in that part of Georgia, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, big. Move on. Junior year. Talk about it. I was ready for it. I was all in. Oh, yeah. Trying to stay. Using the lab all summer? Yeah, all summer. Yeah, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. All right, let's talk a little bit about that year, man. Coming into the year, man. Uh, we was coming off a uh, state championship loss. Yeah. First round. And... The returning team was pretty much senior heavy. They had like five, six, seven, six, seven seniors. Yeah. So they was on a mission, man. When y'all was on a mission, the uh, avenge, the uh, outcome of last year's state tournament. Well, talk about the mindset y'all had going into that season, man. Uh, really, we were just thinking like we gotta win this week. Like we just gotta like we just we just got to. Mm -hmm. We was all trying to get on the same page, you know, chemistry is good. So. All right. And my memory served me correctly, man. Early out, man, like, you hadn't really got your feet planted and your road stamped on the team yet yeah. early on. You were still coming in, coming out real quick. And uh, I don't think that we had the comf the, the comf the, some of the coaches was all the way confident in you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, uh, Eventually, you end up uh, showing that you was a reliable soldier to have in the game. And I think that kind of happened down in uh, the Bahamas, man. Yeah. Like, I think that's when everything changed for you. Is it, am I correct? Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I remember you starting out in the second half, and like, it's like after that, you never look back. Yeah. Yeah. All right, bet, bet, bet. So check this out, man. On that team, man, you emerged as a, a lethal clutch shooter. And you one of them guys, like, are you one of them guys who got to get up like a 500 shots a day? Oh, yes. I got to. I have to. Mm -hmm. That's what I do every day now. Mm -hmm. I go to nothing but net. Shoot. At least 500 every day. All right. Shout out number net. I pass. I got to. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Uh, so with that being said, uh, uh, get back from the Bahamas. I want to say it was around best of the prep time or something like that, and uh, we we end up we all end up getting Bucata, man. Talk about what uh Bucata did when he came to the team. Like, 
How did he help the team out? He helped a lot. Like, the way that he was playing, like, going to the hole, like, going past the fifth, it was crazy. It's like, coaches that was, that was, you know, playing against us, like, team that was running against us, they just had to, like, do something with that. Bukhar and um, Dennis. Like, they just had to find out a way. They had to put their best defenders on them. And then, once you have a shooter, Coming out like that, <laughs> they don't know what to do. <laughs> right. Right, right, right. Good. Yeah, man, we had our uh, ups and downs or whatever. We uh, had some situations, you know what I'm saying, that we are living there, happened, that shouldn't have happened, but it did, so it was what it was. But um, with that being said, man, we end up going on a crazy win streak. Uh, I want to say like 15 out of 16 or something like that. We ended up being district champions or whatever and end up being region champions. But let's talk about that region um, tournament when I back against the wall against Arts and Science and you went off on, uh, I wanna say a 10-0 run, just, just blasting them back to back and that kinda like busted the game wide open and that helped us advance to the championship game. You know what's so crazy about that game? Because yeah. my dad, he was on the phone while I was doing that. Mm -hmm. So. We my dad. My dad liked up. He was on the phone with my stepmom. Mm -hmm. So he said he was on the phone and just yelling and screaming. Like screaming, just shoot that ball, shoot that ball. Mm -hmm. But just shooting, man. Yeah. I, was, I, was, I, was, I don't know. I was really just, you know, ready for it though. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? According to my memory, the team was flat at that moment and, and arts and science was getting the momentum. Mm -hmm. And then I think they subbed you in and you busted open, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. And, and there was countless moments like that where you came through with big shots that got us over the hump, man. So, that clutch gene, man, like, is it just in you or, or what, man? Because cause I can recall you all, and when, when those moments was approaching, you would look at the bench and be like, I, I, I want to shoot it, like, I want to shoot it. Be like, shoot it there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you be wanting no moments, man. So, you ain't scared of the moment no more? No. Nah. I'm not. I'm ready for it. Yeah, man. I can honestly say that, man. I can honestly say that. But like I was saying earlier, man, like I was, why I was so proud of you because you hadn't found your role on the team. Instead of crying and complaining and doing all that, you just stayed ready. Yeah. Kept grinding. Stayed patient. And when that opportunity came, man, you, you took advantage, man. Yeah. And then once you did that, man, you called out a real important role on that team to help y'all get as far as y'all got. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, moving on, man. Uh, so y'all end up win winning the region, region champions, or uh, whatever. You got a home game against uh, Gatlinburg Pittman. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A rematch from last year, so it's like staying. Can you talk about the mentality of that? Uh, of y'all going into that game? Oh, we we was ready. We was ready. We were like, you know, we gotta go back to state. We gotta go. We gotta go. Mm -hmm. It was a we gonna go home situation, man. Yeah, we mm -hmm. we cannot lose. All right, all right, all right. So y'all boys took care of business and got back to Murfreesboro, man. Yeah. Ended up playing against uh, uh opening up against a team. Uh, I can't even remember their name. What do you remember? I can't remember, man, but uh, y'all guys jumped out big on them. I want to say y'all built a 20 point lead and then lost it at the end of the game. What, tell me what's going through your mind once y'all seeing the lead slip away. I'm just like, like, this can't happen. <laughs> we got the whole city out, like, the whole city out. This can't happen. Yeah. Man, I'm, I'm just like, man, we ready. So luckily, um, y'all guys pulled it out and we moved on to the next round to play against Al Cole. You know what I'm saying? They had uh, a couple of big dogs over there or whatever. And uh, talk about the uh, mindset going into that game. You gotta win. Mm -hmm. so gonna go home. Yeah. Go ball. Yeah, man. So that was like a heavyweight fight, man. They uh, had us up against the ropes. We fought back. They put us on the ropes again. We fought back. And it ended up coming down to the last couple of possessions, man. Yeah. Uh, can you uh, talk about um, how you felt in those last moments? Did you feel like y'all was gonna pull it out or 
Yeah, I feel like Blue Blue's gonna pull it out, honestly. I really thought it was, cause, uh, I mean, that's the moment that we really built, like, built for. Mm -hmm. We done came back from the league like that. Like, yeah, for sure. We done did that a lot of times. Sure. I just ended up, that's, that's brand up here. Yeah, for sure. Something, you know, we could come back, you know, that's mm -hmm. how it's supposed to be, though. Well, uh, unfortunately, man, they ended up falling short. Yeah. Lost by, what, three? Yeah. Al Cole will go on and win the state championship. Uh, salute and respect to Al Cole. All right, so uh, how you feel after the loss, man? Sad. Man. I don't think it's going through my head. Like, I can't get my boys back. I just, I just want to play one more game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm seeing you boys. That was their last ride, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. All right, bitch. So, so after that loss right there, is that motivation for next year? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, all in. Alright man, so uh, how often do you say you train? How often do you train? Oh, every day. Mm -hmm. In the lab, every day. Mm -hmm. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So you wear your emotions on your sleeve, man. Like, like, a, and, and that kind of makes sense. You said, you know what I'm saying? You, you kind of like college sex, and he the same way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, what's it like on the court? Uh, Cause as soon as you hit the court, man, you talking, man. You a total, you a totally different dude. Do you feel loose and free when you are able to play like that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Man, I'm talking about, man. How you quiet right now, man? You get on that court, man. I'm talking about you talking like, wow. We be like, KD, shut the up. Man. Yeah. But that's just you, man. Some players thrive under them circumstances, man. So, yeah. So you gotta just let a player be a player sometimes, as long as he ain't hurting the team, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, I bet, man. Uh, what shoes you like to be in, fam? Kyrie's. Mm-hmm. Let's go with Kyrie's. Mm-hmm. Gotta go with them. Mm-hmm. You got a play, favorite NBA player on a team? Still Curry. The Warriors. Oh, man. This man. The Warrior up here, man. <laughs> what's up, man? We got a whole Warrior up here, man. What's up? All right, that's what's up, man. Respect to the Warriors. What's some of the things you like to do off the court? Uh, spend time with the, the twins with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, we just be chilling. Good. Go out and eat sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I seen you, uh, you went to the prom, man. You were super clean on the man. Appreciate that. Appreciate <laughs> right, that was that. up, man. That was up. Man, you got any shout outs? Yeah, shout out to my mom. Shout out to my dad. Shout out to my film mm -hmm. mom. Shout out to the twins with us, man. Shout out to Coach Doug, bring me there. Shout out to Coach Sid. Okay. Shout out to your brother, too, man. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> my bad, bro. <laughs> Shout out to Elk, man. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. I ain't gonna keep you here all day, man. You got any last words for the people? Hey. Stay sleepy if you want to. It's go bite you. <laughs> See you now. I'll uh, start off with saying thank you. I appreciate my family, my friends. Everybody around me. You gotta go through uh, For the next year, for two years, I'll be committed to. Ah. <laughs> Turn the mic off. Alright, man, it's a uh, door underground ball. The man back at y'all with another episode of Love and Wood. Today we had Sniper Gang KD up in here. We got big things going on. Once, uh, Matter of fact, he's a junior. He's going to be a senior next year. And once his senior season complete, we're going to bring him back in so we can talk about how it played out, man. I appreciate you coming on the platform, man. Appreciate and I'm looking forward to seeing what you do this past, in this uh, upcoming year, man. Stay focused. All right, big. Who that is we bumping, man? That's why I said I'm cool, man. You from Chat? Yeah. What his name is? YSL Cooley. Can I add Shout out to YSL Cooley. YS, YS what? YSL. YSL Cooley, man. Even on sweeping, if I don't hear about cocaine, my auntie might fight me. Nice style on my up.
bitch, cause that ass moving. Told him to be pushy, I'm gonna smooth it.